3, where we bring you unusual option activity, um, and we're about to do just that. So uh, without further ado, let's see. Here we go. 3 at 3, brought to you every business day, um, right around this time. Let's see. I got to get there. We go starting with this right slide. 3 at 3. The disclaimer is that uh, these are stocks that I have traded, that I am trading, and this is presented for educational and informational purposes only. Feel free to share it with any of your friends. Just understand this is not investment advice. Thank you. If you'd like to learn more about all the different things that we do over at Market Rebellion, check out marketrebellion.com forward slash get started. That is marketrebellion.com forward slash get started. Stocks, options, futures, cryptocurrency, all of that over at Market Rebellion. Thank you. So uh, for solar, uh, just a couple days ago on the 6th, that would have been, I guess, Monday, I talked about the unusual activity in for solar. And then, of course, we had a deal in the solar space that went up for about half the valuation of First Solar, it was a two point something billion dollar deal, not the five billion dollar deal that would have been uh, for First Solar. Uh, but we noted the activity, which was 13,000, 1.3 million, since every option is for 100 shares of stock. So 1.3 million share equivalent at the 53 strike July that expires this Friday. So the bits of information that are embedded there are, one, this Friday. So it was Monday, and we knew that somebody thought they had a newspaper that said, this is what's going to happen by Friday, because that's a very quick clock. There's not a lot of time for you to be right with that one. So again, it's another reason I like when I see a big chunk of options trading. If these were puts, I would have bought puts and bet on a downside slide. These were calls. The call is the right to buy at that strike price, in this case, 53. And they paid from 35 cents up to 68 cents for these. All right. And as I told you, I think I was in for 50 or so cents. Um, and I believe I disclosed that when I did this uh, on our three at three on Monday. Now let's take a look. Well, there they are. They've gone from that uh, 50 cents to $4.25. In other words, we didn't only have a double because as you see on the page, on the far left side of that page under summary, you see previous close, 99 cents. Where are they now? Or at least when I grabbed that screenshot, $4.25. So in other words, you took something from a $50 investment and you cashed out of it for over $400. Now, the last time I checked, that's about eight times your money. Take something from 50 to 400, that's eight times your money. Now, um, from 99 cents to $4.25, well, that's a 329% uh, surge in that one. So there you see, uh, they traded about 2,000 of these calls today. Um, we cited that 1.3 million or 13,200 of these changed hands. And um, I have cashed out of nearly all of my first solar. It's a, a rare day that I get to uh, take a big bite like this because look at the gap. When it gapped higher today, folks, the opening trade went from a dollar um, and jumped dramatically into the $2, $3. I mean, look at this right there on that slope, how steep it is and how sweet it is. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at another. How about Momo? Momo, we talked about just yesterday. And I said, hey, Chinese stock, a um, lot of call buying, million share equivalent because 10,500 is one, um, almost 1.1 million share equivalent. Uh, also short term, July 10th expiration this Friday. So in other words, this one only had four days, now three days, uh, to live. And they were buying at the 2050 strike, which means, of course, the right to take stock from somebody at $20.50. And they paid $0.53 cents up to $0.80. Cents. 
I, th I believe I was in this one for 70 or 75 cents. Rarely am I in them at the bottom. And some of you might be wondering, well, if you're so good, John, why aren't you in there? Well, a whole bunch of reasons. One of the reasons is that we post it to what you're looking at there, our Market Rebellion um, blog for unusual option activity. And we let our subscribers have at it first. That's one of the ways we trade. So rarely am I in at the same price as even our own subscribers. I'm usually paying more. But we run the service. Um, we're watching it. And I don't even always do these trades. I might do instead a put sale. I might jump in here and say, wow, a lot of call buying with just four days to go. Let me get in here and sell some 20 strike puts. And I get to keep all of that premium if the stock stays above 20, for instance. Just to give you an idea of what's going on. And Momo popped 83 cents or a little over 4% today, which is nice. Um, so we traded all the way up to 2160. When we entered, it was 2034. So as you might imagine, at 2160, these calls would be worth $1.10. You want to learn more about how we do, we, my brother Pete and I, and our entire team of traders uh, that are teaching people how to trade, that are posting up trades for subscription products and so forth. You want to learn all about that? Well, you can do all of that at marketrebellion.com forward slash get started. All right, let's get started with today's three at three. SOGO. So uh, let's take a look at SOGO right now. S-O-G-O. -O, SOGO. And the stock was $4.45 when we showed that almost 900,000 share equivalent of the regular July expiration, five calls, so these are calls that expire not this week, but the following week, July 17th. Um, the stock is now up 10%. It's trading $4.80. It's been as high today as $4.97. So the right to buy it at five has probably increased in value because we're up um, over 10% from yesterday. And these calls that were 15 cents to 50 cents probably picking up some steam as well. Take a look. There they are. They've traded up through, as I said, up to $4.97. Um, they still expire this coming Friday. No, I'm sorry, next Friday, next Friday, the 17th. I apologize. They expire the 17th, so you've got time. And a very nice move that pushed and almost took it over five already today. By the way, the 52-week high is $5.80. So you might imagine if we do push through five, number one, there might be some pretty decent resistance up there. Number two, uh, there might be some people panicking um, if they're short this name and it goes through five because all of a sudden other people who cannot be involved in stocks that are trading beneath five could again participate. Let's bear that in mind. All right, let's get to our second of our three at three. By the way, here's SOGO, just to show you what it looks like. There is the uh, July 5 calls, 15,000 of them now, not merely 9,000, 15,000. Where am I seeing that? Well, as you look under TOT for total, um, this is showing us time, the underlying symbol, the expiration, the strike price, whether it's a put or a call, and TOT stands for the total traded today. Um, and as you see, these have already moved up um, to from that 15 cent level all the way to 50 cents and are presently, at least when I did that snapshot, 31 and 33 cents right around there. So already a double from the 15 cent level earlier today. Bang! Let's take a look at the next. Again, our second of our three at three. AEO, American Eagle, AEO. So this is one that a lot of people decry, just as my friend, Michael Farr, decried our uh, unusual activity in Macy's yesterday. Um, so do people decry many of these retailers. Now, this retailer is up some, 
coming up on 70% off the lows already. And they're buying the November 12s. Now, as opposed to some of the other trades that I've described, uh, this one is a trade where they're wanting more time into the future. So these options aren't going to de decay as rapidly as options that expire this Friday, next Friday, or a month from now. Those are very rapid time decay options, anything under 60 days. But this one is out in November. So that is July, August, September, October, November, nearly five months into the future. So they're buying the 12 calls. They paid $1.30. They bought 1.25 million share equivalent. So that's a big bet that they put down here. The normal volume in this stock, by the way, let me see, where is that? Average volume is um, about 8.6 million shares. It's already traded 6.6. .6. That was, let's see, 35 minutes ago, 6.6 .6 million. So a lot of activity here. And this does actually even capture the uh, earnings, which will be September 2nd. So AEO, 1.25 million share equivalent. 12 strike, which is $1.50 out of the money approximately, and they paid $1.30. There is what it looks like. It looks like it just in this five-day graph got that down there to 1040 and sort of turned to the upside. Um, and so for us to get back to, for instance, uh, to or at least towards that uh, $12 level, that's a level that we were at just a couple days ago, folks. So I like our odds here, and I will uh, likely be in this trade for several months. Let's get to our third and final of the three at three, Twitter. So as much as I love Twitter and love Jack Dorsey, I love you, Jack, mainly for Square, not so much for Twitter. Twitter has been a dog, um, but... Uh, Twitter is making a nice pop today. Um, it has been all the way to almost 37 today. And some of us were lucky enough to see this early on. You see that at 1041 a.m. today. Um, in other words, well before noon, they were buying these calls with the stock at 33. Well, as I said, it went to almost 37. How close to 37? Well, 36.93, so within seven cents of 37. In other words, nearly four dollars higher than when we saw this. And we collectively got into this one for a little over a dollar ten. I say a little over a dollar ten because I can't give an exact number because I got into some at 105, some at 110, some at 115. I'm rounding, calling it. I'm in at a buck ten. Um, they traded up to a dollar fifty. The open interest was 3,100 contracts, so 22,000 is seven times the open interest. So this was opening, new trades, people betting that the stock trades up. Well, they've already been rewarded because the stock did trade up. It ran from that 33 level up to 37, which is a great trade. Now, was I able to take some profits? Well, um, for the session, the high, for this particular one, let me see. Those are the 3350s, which was, you know, just out of the money by 50 cents. Those calls traded up as high as $3.50. Bang! $3.50. Did I sell that top tick? No, I didn't. I wish, but no, I didn't. But you know what? Those calls are still trading for $2.30 this very minute. So I'm in at a buck ten. Those of you who watch regularly, where did I likely exit? I'll wait. Okay, what I look for, folks, is on a double, when the option I buy, $1.10, trades $2.40, I want to take at least half off. Did I do that? Yes. But I got a little greedy. I took off 50%. I took off 50% between $2 and $2.20. Just because, like I say, Twitter to me has been a dog. 
So when I have a winner in Twitter, I get a little greedy. I want to get more of that cash into my pocket fast. Now, it's still a winner. I'm still up over um, a buck 10 right now uh, because almost a buck 20 because these things are still trading $2.30. I'm in at a buck 10 on average. I took half off. So that's money in my pocket right now. Now, what will I do if it starts to pull back significantly? We're basically at the level that I sold. I sold, as I said, $2 and $2.20. So we're still at $2.30. We're above where I exited. Would I sell the rest, the other 50% of my holdings, if we were to see an end of the day pop? Very likely. Um, will I hold some into tomorrow? Also very likely. Um, but my discipline is such that if these break $2, I will likely exit them. Why? Because I'm in at $1.10. They went to my double level. I got greedy, took it before the double. But nonetheless, they went up to my double level. If they start pulling back, then I'm going to say, close it. Let me make that money. Keep it right where it belongs in my pocket. Um, if... On the other hand, it just gets out there and we see this thing pop to, back to and through that 37 level. Bang. These calls would be worth, again, $3.50 at 37 because the right to buy it at 33.50 would be worth $3.50 if we trade up to 37. So I would likely be exiting um, if we do that. But I'm going to give myself the chance to let the winners run, which I've done by taking off you know, half the trade, 50%. And if it was a loser and I paid $1.10 and we fell towards 55 or 60 cents, I'd be out like that. So those are the disciplines that I employ. Ken Rose and a couple others had been asking me that on Twitter. I just figured I'd explain it to you guys here. Thank you. There's the move in Twitter, as you see, as it traded up to 37, up over 8% still as of that screenshot that you see, and right now, still showing some life. Here's a look at uh, how many of those calls traded. As you saw, we cited 22,000. Well, the Robin Hoodsters and everybody else came flying into this thing, and the volume exceeded 43,000 contracts just uh, about 35 minutes ago when I did this slide. So as you can see, Total volume, 43,000. Executions, in other words, how many trades did it take to get to 43,000? Basically 6,000 executions. And where were they? Um, well, those, whoops, I took a picture of the July 35s. I'm sorry. Both the July 3350s and the 35s were extremely active. In fact, as we rallied, they were buying the July 35s aggressively. I am John Najarian. You want to learn more about what we do, go over to marketrebellion.com forward slash UOA for unusual option activity. That is marketrebellion.com forward slash UOA. Appreciate your time, folks. I hope you had a couple good trades this week. We've been fortunate, knock on wood, to have a number of big winners already. And the week's barely at the halfway point. So we're going to have more on 3 at 3 tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday. Make sure you join us. Bang! See you soon.